Hello and welcome to another video on Power BI tutorial series and in this video we are going to discuss one power query function list.combine. So let's jump to the Power BI. In Power BI we have list.union and list.combine two functions and they are little bit different. So what we will do is we are going to do this list.combine um, and I already have in this file list.union. So I'm going to show you uh, how the two things are different. So first of all, home, transform data, transform data, get into the power uh, query. And now in the power query, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an empty query. So blank query. And in the blank query, I right click and I say advanced editor. And here I get this. And instead of source, I'm going to create a list here. List one. And simply you in the angular bracket, I can give a numeric list, four comma five. And instead of returning source, there is no source available right now. List one I can return. You make sure the names are matching, and we say done. And you see query three is one, two, three, four, five. I right click and I say advanced editor, and I need to give a comma here now. After I give a comma, I can give list two. I am going to create another list now, equals to, let's say I give some common element one, comma two, comma three, comma seven, comma eight, and then I am going to return list two. I don't right now I don't have a way to return both of them. We are going to combine it and return. Okay. So I got one, two, three, seven, and eight. Now again I right click on the query tree and say advanced editor. And now I'm going to do, give a comma again and I'm going to write down a new operation. So I say alt and I say on enter here and I say list three. Now list three, I want to combine these two lists. So I say list dot combine. And I say, and I need list of lists. So when I need list of lists, I need to give list inside a list. So I give this angular bracket so that this is a list. Now this is an empty list and list of lists. If you can see that, you know, the it's also suggesting. So now I get list one and list two. So I give list one and list two, and then I'm going to return list three. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 7, 8. All the elements are just like appended. It is like just like he append one below another one, just appending the two list. Okay. So then what would have happened if we would have done union? So let's say, how does it is different from union? So I'm going to copy paste this tab. Let me press comma, enter. And I'm going to make it list four and then I'm going to make it union. And let's look at the difference. Now I need to return list four in this case. And you can see the common elements are going to come only once. That's union for us. Now what would happen that these kind of scenario, when we come across these kind of scenarios, you are not going to have these operations on list by creating these things. Most of the time you're going to have tables like this and you would like to these, do these operations on those tables. So I have this table where I have column A1 and A2 and I want to combine these two. And now this could be two different column data one and data two and there I have column A1 and another one I have A2. They could be of different lengths also. It's not always necessary that they could be of same length. Okay. So I want to do combine these two. So before I combine, let's discuss this different length first of all. So again, let's remove this. We don't need list three, four, we need list three, but we are going to make it, let's say nine and let's make it 10. Okay. And let's remove this list three here from here. And then we go back to query three and you can see that, you know, list did not need to be of same size. They can be of different size. The, the length could be different. Okay. Now we go and let's do the operation which we have discussed. Now we need those two columns. So list four, we are going to create again list four equals to again, we are going to use list dot combine. And again, we need to give list of list. Now to get the date table column, we can simply give table name and the column name in the angular uh, in the square brackets. And then you can get it as a list. So column, individual columns can be treated as list like this manner. So we can use that. 
Now it's giving error on the list four because we have not given comma at the end of list three, at the end of the line. So we have not called it as end of the line. Now we have called it as end of the line. Now this is there, and then we have to return list four. Now we are no more returning these two lists. We are returning the columns. Uh, we are returning the list which is available in data A one and A two. And let's say okay. So we are going to get one, three, five, and seven. One, two, four, and seven. Let's go back and look at it. Now what would have happened if we have done union? Now I have a union operation here. Okay. Uh, let me see. Is it query one which is union advanced editor? And we have a union here A one and A two, and so you can see here one, three, five, seven, two, and four. There is no repetition here, but there is a repetition here. So it's just append. It's not union. It's append. Combine means just append one below each other. Now we are not going to deal with the list when we go to the uh, reporting part of it. What we are going to do is we are going to use this two two table and we click and we convert this list to the table. There is no delimiter we want. So error. As error, if you are unable to handle extra columns, and we got a table now. So now this is converting into a table, and you can see table from the list, list four splitter dot split by nothing null null extra values dot error. So this is the step which is converting it into the table. If you go to the advanced editor, you will see list four has been utilized by this step, and it has been converted into the table. And convert to table is the step which has been returned now. In this manner, you got a table now. So basically, we Do certain steps, and then finally end up returning some step. That's the step which is going to sh show us in the uh, visualization part of it, and that should be a table step to make sure it's uh, available there for uh, users. So go ahead and try this out. Do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.